macropods are the largest marsupials on Earth. They come in many shapes and sizes. Red kangaroos have much longer bodies than grey kangaroos. In fact, their body weight is twice as much. They can use their tail like a fifth leg and they travel and feed in large groups known as mobs. Young kangaroos live up to 12 months in the pouch and even when they do venture out, they return to the pouch until they're about one year old. A joy needs constant care and attention if it's to survive when taken prematurely from the mother. It's estimated that every year 4 million Australian mammals are struck and killed on our roads. Nobody knows the true number because not everyone reports roadkill. Many injured animals walk off and die in the bushes where people can't see them. In this episode, we visited a cattle station, which also happens to be a refuge for wildlife and particularly orphan kangaroos. Alright guys, so this is Numba Rehabilitation Sanctuary. We only have kangaroos at the moment. Come and see who we have now. I'll introduce you. So Karen and uh, Angus are the carers on the property, but especially Karen is the guru in um, wildlife caring. Uh, she taught me everything I know, and I'm extremely thankful for being here. Okay, so the feeding mix is made out of boiling water and um, uh, Bombaru milk replacer. I will only make for three, they get me through three days because I only have three kangaroos at the moment. So let's get into it. So we just add the sterilized boiling water and we'll prepare the mix and bottle it up and um, go and feed wallabies. Morning everyone, breakfast time. Those are corellas, and then the black ones are apostle birds, and then we're going to see the ducks and the swamp hen. Say hi. Hi. So we got swamp hen and the ducks. So they'll come in for a feed too. Hello. 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 Hello, little buddy. Hello. So this is on my left is Rose. She's a red kangaroo. And then this one on my right hand side is Bella and she's a wallaby. Oh, she, uh, she lost her mum in a car, um, in a road train um, accident. So the road train struck uh, her mum and she was found in her mum pouch. So that was quite a story. So she loves cattle and being in the pouch. So uh, as you can see, red kangaroos have quite an elongated face and um, the wallaroos have like more ears and uh, a robust face. Right, we're gonna see Azel now, which is the Eastern Grey over there. There we get Azel. It's okay, it's okay, Azel. All right. And just like little babies, sometimes you have to encourage them to drink, because, yeah, they have all different characters and, you know, just react differently to situations, I guess. And yeah, they all they all love the cattles and, and the love. Right, so we have another 11 roos out there, um, just past the gate, and they are getting soft released. So these guys um, will stay on the property until they reach 12 kilos, and they are on milk uh, until then. 
And then once they reach 12 kilo, they get soft released and they feed on just grass around and macropod pellets. And um, generally speaking, they will then make their way out in the wild and they run. Uh, they can still access to the property, so Karen takes care of them. And meanwhile, they're ready to go out there and just be wild again. Well, Nature Nutters, we hope you enjoyed this episode and please drive with caution, especially at dawn and dusk, when many native animals are out and about. If you do happen to hit an animal, remember that accidents can occur. But please stop to see if the animal requires emergency assistance and always check the pouch in the nearby area for young. Don't hesitate to contact your local wildlife rescuer.